Hi, this is Lady Nefertiti BK, and today I thought I would come on here and share um, this hair that I got from Studio Tegolo. I I actually um, installed the hair, and I wanted to show you. But let me give you a real quick background um, if you haven't watched my other videos. Um, I had long hair at one time, and I ended up getting really sick, and I lost my hair. My hair is growing back, and as it's growing back, I've been wearing um, wigs, clip-ins, um, U-parts. Now I'm, I'm doing the, the eye tips, micro-links, and I'll probably end up doing the tape in here next, okay? Um, however, let's go ahead and get to the hair. That's why you're here. Um, I purchased the Wavy Bonds. Uh, it's 14 inches long and the color natural. I really like this color natural because it's more like my own color right now. I really need to dye my hair again, but thank goodness I didn't. So that's the information on the paper that came on it. And I made sure to write their name on the back. And the reason why I did that is because I also make my own eye tips. But anyway, I wanted to try theirs because I really like them. All right, so I put this tie on here. It comes like this. I got this here a week ago, so I had been wearing it for about a week. This is what I had left from it, okay? I didn't put any in the front because my hair is getting kind of long in the back, but around in here, it's still growing, and I don't feel that it's thick enough to cover the tips. So when you have the tips put in, you have to make sure you have enough hair to cover. So I'm going to show you the back, because I've been wearing ponytails and buns. I'm going to show you the back and show you the eye tips, okay? So, like this, and then there's the eye tips that I put in, okay? Alright, and what I use to install them, I got this from Amazon. I'll have all of the information for Studio Teclo, I hope I'm saying that right, and um, for the tools that I use, it'll be in the description box. But anyway, I use these pliers right here. Use the pliers. I did not use this. This is more for crocheting, I think. But I did use the pliers, and I always put my tools back in the original packaging. That's just the way I am, you guys. <laughs> and it also came with... Uh, beads. This stuff I'm showing right right here is uh, from Amazon in case if you want to buy your own. And then of course the eye tips from Studio Tecolo. It came in this type of packaging. Okay. I'm not going to turn it around because this is what it actually comes in and my address and everything's on the other side. Okay. And um, I condition the hair with my uh, Silicone Mix Protein de Perla. That's my favorite Silicone Mix. I also love the sil Silicone Mix. The leave-in I used was a Dominican Magic Moisture Lock Leave-In. You guys know I love, love, love my Dominican products. But uh, for the past, what, three weeks or so, I've been using Main Choice as well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my ponytail with it. Um, but let me see. Oh, and this is the thing that I used to put the beads on. My beater. Okay. And I'm going to show you what I do with that. Take one of the beads out of here. If you guys would like for me to do a tutorial on how I use the eye tips, um, just let me know and I'll do that. Microlinks, the microlinks is the one that already comes with the little thing on it, the plastic, um, I don't know what you call that, with the bead already on it, and when you pull it, then the, the beads and everything goes onto the hair automatically. This, you're doing it yourself. That's the difference between the two. Anyway, I put it on there and put my hair, let's say a little piece of hair like this, do it like that, so the hair is like that. Put the bead on it like so, so the bead is like that, and then you take the eye tip and you push the eye tip in there, then you use the pliers and clamp it close. Make sure it's flat going that way, not that way. 
that way, <laughs> okay? And then not having too much hair. And so that's what I did. So now I'm gonna go ahead and, and what I do, I use my detangler brush, got this from Dollar Tree. I use my detangler brush like so. Now, you wanna be gentle when you're brushing the hair with the eye tips. You do not want to yank a brush through your hair or using a hard brush and yanking it through. That's not good. And um, another thing I did was I used my uh, flat iron on my hair and uh, the, eye, the eye tips. I just wanted to see um, how that would look. Hold on. I just wanted to see how that would look. But you want to make sure that the flat iron is not directly on the eye tip itself. You don't want to do that because you might end up damaging it. So you want to go below that, not on it, and then down. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do this ponytail. And just so you can see, my hair, I'm growing my hair back. So you guys are on the journey with me. Now this is something that doesn't make any sense to me. My hair in the back is almost as long as these eye tips. And the sides and the top is taking forever. Do not understand that. Don't understand that at all. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this. And this is the, the main choice, Tropical Moringa Rinse Out or Leave-In Conditioner. I love the way this smells. Did I just get myself? I did. Okay, about that much. On my hair, leaves hair so silky. Okay, and I would normally put just a touch of oil on my hair. Normally, I would use Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Oil, but I wanted to give this a try. And it is the uh, the main choice Ancient Egypt Anti Breakage and Repair Antidote Oil. I do like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna turn around so you can see. And I made sure to leave out enough hair on the bottom so that I could wear a ponytail and it would definitely cover the eye tips. Okay, so that's how that looks. Now, after having worn this for a little over a week now, I think, maybe it's been two weeks, I forgot. But anyway, I have to say I really, really like these. And I had some other hair from uh, Studio Tecolo, and I made some eye tips with that as well. But I really, really like these. They're so well made. Look at them so well made. These, I had some of these in my hair and I took them out. But look at that. So it's, it's nice to know that they're reusable so I could use them again. And um, I ordered them on a Friday. I got it by that Monday. So I was very, very impressed with that. Shipping was super quick. The packaging was good. Um, it came in separate um, plastic bags. So each bundle, because I ordered two, each bundle came in its own separate plastic bag. So it was very well packaged um, inside of here. And so what I do when I'm not using it, I put it, I put it back in here. And the little paper where I wrote um, Studio Tecolo, so it's like this. <laughs> and then I wrote it so I remember. And I leave it in the bag, and then I just do it like so, and I store it, and then I store it. What I might end up doing, though, I think I'm going to get one of those satin bags, and I'm going to put the hair in the satin bags, because I heard that it's better 
to have the hair in satin rather than plastic. So I think I might be doing that next. And so, okay, once again, got this hair from Studio Tecolo. If I'm saying that right, if I'm butchering it, I do apologize. Um, and I got my tools from Amazon that I use to, um, what did I do with the bag? Okay, the beads, and you know, I had the beads too. Um, so the beads came with that as well. But anyway, um, I like the, the product. I like the hair. The hair is very sturdy. It's soft. It didn't have a smell. It does not shed. I was very surprised about that. I was looking for it to shed a little bit, but it didn't shed. Holds a curl really good. So when I used my curling iron and put curls in it, held a curl, and the curl was in there all day. I also did a roller set on it. Um, it held the curl with the roller set, and I used my perm rods um, because I like to test different things out. I like to know what works and what doesn't. Perm rods, even better. So, um, yeah, I like this, and I would like to try the curly hair next. I really would like to try the curly hair. So that's it. That's it on this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, and I will be back. I have some other stuff I need to show. So you guys take care. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye.